Only days ago, the House voted along party lines to authorize an impeachment inquiry against Joe Biden. Only minor problem, they haven't quite found a crime to investigate him for yet. And that's a point that Jamie Raskin drove home on air with Jen Psaki. Well, what's amazing to me is that you've got an overwhelming number of people in their caucus who voted against impeaching Donald Trump for inciting a violent insurrection right. against our own House, against the Congress, against the vice president. We saw it. There were 150 police officers who were bloodied and wounded and hospitalized from their violent attack in an attempt to overthrow the election and to seize the presidency. They voted no. Now they want to go ahead and launch an impeachment inquiry against Joe Biden for a crime unknown. Nobody can identify what the alleged offense is. I said yesterday on the floor that they call uh, murder mysteries whodunits because you start with the murder and you try to figure out who did it. This is a what is it? Nobody even knows what the crime is. In other words, Republicans have all the ingredients for a successful impeachment except a legitimate reason to actually do it. And I say legitimate because they do have a reason, but it is entirely political. And yet that hasn't stopped them from saying it out loud. Here's Republican lawmaker Troy Nels. Representatives, what are you hoping to gain from an impeachment inquiry? All I can say is Donald J. Trump 2024, baby. What are you hoping to gain from an impeachment inquiry? Not the facts, not the truth, but rather a Trump presidency. Quiet part out loud. Republicans are barreling ahead with this impeachment inquiry because it'll hurt Joe Biden and help their presidential candidate, Donald Trump. That's it. And the only thing more shameful than the fact that they're doing it is the ease with which they'll admit it. And at the risk of thinking that this was just some one-off, it's not. Here's another Republican congressman, Mark Green. Do you think that going down these impeachment routes could be a problem politically? No, I no, I don't. In fact, I think if we don't go down these impeachment routes, a huge part of America is is going to just say, you know, we're not supporting Republicans anymore. Outright admitting that the only reason is because they're placating a base that wants to hurt Joe Biden politically so that they can keep their jobs. Again, notice how there's no talk of any actual crimes or evidence of wrongdoing. The conversation is predicated solely on helping themselves politically. And this is nothing new for Republicans either. Think back to 2015 when Kevin McCarthy came on national television and said this about the real reason for the Benghazi Select Committee. Everybody thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right? But we put together a Benghazi special committee, a select committee. What are her numbers today? Her numbers are dropping. That it was to hurt Hillary Clinton's poll numbers. This is what Republicans do. They have a long history of launching sham investigations for the express purpose of hurting Democratic candidates and helping their own candidates. And guess what? It worked in 2016, so why wouldn't they try the exact same thing now? Same playbook, different day. And yet again, absent in all of this is an actual legitimate reason for an impeachment. For all of their bluster about influence peddling and shady business practices, Republicans have yet to offer anything in the way of even a shred of evidence of wrongdoing by Joe Biden himself, a point that even conservative media has picked up on. The House Oversight Committee has been at this for years, and they have so far not been able to provide any concrete evidence that Joe Biden personally profited from his son Hunter's overseas business. And of course, while Fox has picked up on it, it wasn't limited to only Fox. Here's MSNBC's coverage as well. Frankly, when you ask folks what the impeachable offense is, and I have asked this question of those three committee chairmen because they're the ones leading the charge here, they can't give you a specific charge, in part because the things that they're alleging happened happened when Joe Biden was not the president of the United States and in some cases wasn't even serving in public office. But the other part of it is they don't actually have a substantive link yet, or ever, we'll see, as to whether or not Hunter Biden's business dealings had anything to do with the president. So yeah, congrats to Republicans for finding the one point that the entire political media ecosystem can actually agree on. So look, I can point out the lunacy of this entire undertaking by Republicans until I'm blue in the face, but at the end of the day, this isn't about the facts, it isn't about the evidence, it isn't about the reality, it is about the narrative. Republicans are looking to create the optics of criminality by Joe Biden, and so they'll repeat their lies over and over and over again so that they can eventually point to the response from their own supporters demanding impeachment, 
based on lies that they themselves told those very supporters. It is just blatant circular logic, all in service of helping Republicans consolidate power for themselves. So I have no doubt that they'll continue to barrel forward with this sham impeachment effort against Joe Biden, but they've already given the entire game away. They've had 11 months to find a single piece of evidence showing some wrongdoing by Joe Biden, and they've failed every single step of the way. The fact that they're moving forward anyway is all the proof you need that it's not about the truth, it is about selling their lies. And while they might have thought it would be smooth sailing, it turns out that they've set themselves up for embarrassment every single step of the way. Before you go, to see more content from MSNBC, make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking the link right here on this screen. You can also follow the link to see some exclusive content only on Instagram. And finally, to keep watching our videos here on YouTube, click where it says watch more.